you got kids? You got kids too? I've you? got three. Three, three boys. Oh, three yeah. boys. Yeah, I've got three boys as well. Whenever they tell me something they're going to do that I think is going to get, is going to draw attention to them in a bad way, I start really shitting myself about their day at school. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. they'll have like a non-uniform day, and my son will dress up as a unicorn, and then I spend the whole day Worrying worried too. that some of the hot, tough kids in school are going to decide to beat up the unicorn. Or, do you know what I mean? I just yeah. don't. And do they? No, they didn't. It was actually all right. The, the horn actually provides quite a useful weapon. <laughs> my son, my other son's got special needs. <clears throat> In fact, I think they've all got special needs. I've got a kind of zoo of, you know... <laughs> well, I think, you know, with special needs kids, you are in a slightly different zone. So my problem is always that I... I mustn't laugh. So Ollie's getting suspended all the, all the time. So I'm in... <laughs> Every week, examples of suspensions. <laughs> so I get this form, like, I mustn't laugh about it, because it is yeah. serious, and I understand yes. the school, they need to have some element of control. <laughs> but I get this form, and it says, reason for exclusion, <laughs> calling the teacher. <laughs> a lard head. Okay. And we have to go, and we have to have a meeting. It's this thing at the moment where they're trying to include the parents with suggestions. Yeah. So they said, are we looking for a reward for Ollie if he does well? And I said, well, he wants to be a fireman and he loves water and hoses, so why don't you let him water, <laughs> water the vegetables in the vegetable right. patch? Yeah. And they, they said, great idea. Yeah. It wasn't. It was a terrible, terrible idea. Because <laughs> he got hold of the hose and yeah. then he just wouldn't let it go. Like, people go, OK, that's five minutes, that's enough. And he goes, no. And he soaks the teacher trying to get the hose off him. And so then they <laughs> bring out another teacher. <laughs> So they bring another teacher, a, a dry get, teacher. Because, they, we, need a, we need a dry teacher <laughs> for the situation immediately. They keep providing dry teachers. Right, right, right. And he keeps drenching them. If anyone gets yeah. near the tap, they get totally done. The and how many teachers a... in <laughs> did it occur to them that he might do this to every teacher they bring out? By this stage, the kids are looking out of the classroom windows and Ollie's a hero. Because he yeah. wants to... He finds I mean, it difficult socially, to... that's finding, incredible. Socially, it's a win. Yeah, he's finding it difficult to make friends. He doesn't talk that well. Yeah, this is a great way of saying, hey, I'm, I'm fun to be around. And... <laughs> I'm now 47 and I've been having shit gigs since I was 18. <laughs> so I've just... What was your first telly appearance? My first telly appearance was... I was on a last Smith & Jones and I had two sketches, one of which you started the sketch on a couple rolling around on the bed, semi-nude. Yeah. And that... I was... No words, that was me. <laughs> And then the other sketch was it started, it was also a bed scene, started on Mel in bed, wearing pyjamas, saying, I'm terribly sorry, love, this has never happened to me before, it must have been the drink. And then you panned over to me, covered in vomit. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they used a cold Campbell's vegetable soup and uh, I was allergic to it. So I was <laughs> lying in the bed, this negligee, <laughs> stuck to my nipples with pieces of cold carrot cube. Sweet. <laughs> and again, I didn't, didn't say anything. But uh, in a way, I sort of... I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm glad about feminism and all the rest of it, but one of the things that has changed is when I started in the industry, you literally could put on a lipstick and you didn't have to say anything. <laughs> and no-one noticed that was all you yeah. were for. So it's like a downside of feminism. A downside actually... of feminism is you're supposed to actually say something funny. It's like, damn, feminism, damn! And there was, it was an excuse before to buy nice clothes, whereas now it's like, well, you know... They don't care about your clothes, sweetheart. They just want you to <laughs> want your shoes up here. <laughs> well, you spent a lot of time in America. Sometimes How was that? The last Veep I did, my husband had just left me for a member of the Russian Yoga Federation. No word of a lie. <laughs> he was. <laughs> Well, there's well, I mean, a lot to unpack there. First of all, I didn't know unpack. that Russia had a yoga federation. Yeah. I didn't know that yoga required a federation. There's had a federation. Her Facebook photo... I probably shouldn't say any of this on it anyway. <laughs> We've gone here now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook photo didn't include her face. It was her in an upside-down pose. I shouldn't include any of this. Let's not talk about this. <laughs> but, so when I over-disclosed... <laughs> Details of my romantic life, whereas yes. in the UK everybody had sort of furrowed brow. Yeah. In the States, everyone just pissed themselves laughing, right. like rolled on the floor, crying, laughing, banging tables, at my misfortune. Um, and you which liked isn't that. Yeah, I did actually. There is something about them just laughing without checking that is kind of freeing. <laughs> right. Yeah. So they're not sort of being cautious around you. They're, this is just how they feel about it. Yeah. Try, let, let's do it again. You tell me the thing. And so. Yeah. Yeah, well, I was working in the States shortly after my husband had uh, left me. 